I'm Emma and I like nothing more than sitting down and listening to Colgen FM. So welcome back. I hope you've had time to get some refreshment because now we're moving into our next segment, the Deity Connection. The focus of this segment is helping you identify and connect with a specific deity to see that God or goddess as you see them, not as someone tells you to see them. Anytime we do this particular segment, a different God or goddess will be discussed and described. And to make this interactive, once I have given you some background on the god or goddess, you have the opportunity to draw him or her as you perceive them. This drawing with whatever notes you choose to write down can then be incorporated into a deity section of your correspondence journal. Now keep in mind we will be covering a different god or goddess from various pantheons as not all people utilize or connect with the same gods and goddesses. As an example, my greatest connection is with Celtic deities, but I do call upon and honor deities from Norse, Greek, and even Egyptian pantheons. So as I describe the god or goddess, I want you to write down their name. I promise I will spell it for you. And a few of the attributes. This will help you not only with identification, but with deepening your connection. When we get to the illustrating part of the segment, don't be concerned so much with whether or not you're a good artist, but really that the image that comes to you is where you want to focus. My youngest son, who is now 14 months, um, has an art print of a mother goddess with no face hanging in his room. And that way the perception of the goddess is left up to the person that looks at her. When I see her, I may see her one way. My son, as he grows, may connect with her differently. But having that blank face or drawing your own rendition of a deity not only deepens your connection, but it really personalizes that god or goddess to you. So since Lunasa or Lamas, also referred to as Loaf Mass, is the next Sabbath we're celebrating, I thought I would introduce the goddess Dagnai, it's spelled D U G N A I. She is an Eastern European goddess from Slavic and Baltic pantheons. Dagnai is the goddess of making the dough rise. So she is naturally the patron goddess of kitchen witches in Lithuania. She rules over the hearth and the home, keeps families supplied with fresh food. To honor her, you may do so with fresh bread and liquor. 
So maybe next time you're in the kitchen helping out, whether baking or cooking, maybe try asking Dugdai for a little help. So I'll go ahead and cue up some music now for you to start drawing. Get out your paper and whatever you're drawing with, crayons, markers, colored pencils, and get ready to draw how you would envision uh, Dugnay. Remember, there's no right or wrong way for you to draw this goddess. So, you're sitting next to someone and the image you have of her is different from theirs. Just know that both of those images are correct and they are perfect for the individual that drew her. We'll be listening to Autumn Wind by Kaliana from her CD, I Walk with the Goddess. Oh, 
That was Kellyanna performing Autumn Wind from her CD, I Walk With the Goddess. So how did that drawing of Dugnay turn out? I bet she is just beautiful. If you haven't finished it, no worries. Feel free to take time after the show, finish up your drawing. But make sure add this page to your correspondence journal. That way you will always know where to find it. We're going to move on to our last segment for today. Divination Corner. Everything you see can have a meaning or a message. In ancient times, pagans used to use messages and clues given from things they saw to tell them of happenings for the day as well as their future. Now, this tradition has carried on throughout the ages and has come down to what we now use as divination. Divination is something people do to find out what has happened, what is happening, and what will or may happen in the future. It's usually taken on by a person who knows a lot about it and has been trained in the art of divination. Now, you're never too young to start divining, and with a little help, you can start your journey towards that. 